Hey there, my name is David and in this video, I'm going to show you the best places to visit in China. Now, I know what you're thinking, there are too many best places to visit in China to choose from and it's hard to know where to start. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In this short video, we'll be exploring the top 14 places to visit in the China. These are places you absolutely must add in your bucket list. Our number one destination is amazing, don't miss it. So sit back, relax and join me on this journey through the best places to visit in China. Let's start! Number 14. Les Han. Les Han is a city located in Sichuan province in southwest China. The city is situated at the spot where the Dadu, Min and Qingyi rivers meet. Les Han is most famous for its large stone-carved Buddha, which is the largest in the world. The city of Les Han is also known for its proximity to the Mount Amei scenic area, which offers lovely scenery and historical attractions. Although often overlooked, Les Han has an abundance of restaurants, cafes, and accommodation options, and boasts a thriving culinary scene. Scattered around town are many interesting sites, such as the famous writer Guo Morua's former residence and the Oriental Buddha Park, home to thousands of amazing statues and carvings. If you are looking for an interesting destination to explore in China, be sure to add Les Han to your list. Number 13. Suzhou. A visit to Suzhou is a must for anyone interested in Chinese culture and history. The city is full of ancient buildings and pagodas, as well as beautiful canals and gardens. One of the most famous gardens in Suzhou is the Lingering Gardens, which consists of four distinct sections. The garden is a great place to stroll around and take in the natural beauty of the rocks, trees, pavilions, and lakes. Another highlight of Suzhou is the Grand Canal, which runs through the city from north to south. The canal is a major transportation route in China and is full of boats traveling to and from different parts of the country. A ride on the canal is a great way to experience Chinese culture and see some of the beautiful scenery in Suzhou. Finally, no visit to Suzhou would be complete without a stroll down its charming streetscapes. The old world atmosphere and traditional architecture make for a really unique experience. Whether you're interested in Chinese history or just want to see some beautiful scenery, Suzhou is definitely worth visiting. Number 12. Lijian. Lijian is one of the most popular tourist destinations in China. Located in the northwest of Yunnan province, it's a beautiful and picturesque city with a timeless look and feel. The city was once the capital of a small kingdom, and its well-preserved historic center is a major draw for visitors. At the heart of Lijiang lies its magnificent old town. It's home to pretty canals, old stone bridges, and winding cobbled streets. The many wooden buildings here exhibit elegant traditional architecture, with the expansive Mu Palace complex being a highlight. Hidden away among the narrow alleys are some charming tea shops and restaurants for you to try. If you're looking for something to do, there's plenty to explore in Lijiang's old town. Be sure to wander through its maze-like streets and admire the traditional architecture. You can also take a boat ride on one of the city's canals or visit one of its many museums. Lijiang is a great place to relax and soak up the atmosphere of old China. With its pretty streets and picturesque surroundings, it's easy to see why this city is so popular with tourists. Number 11. Walingyuan. The Walingyuan Scenic Area is one of the most popular tourist destinations in China. Located just outside of Zhangjiajie City in northwest Hunan Province, the area is well known for its unique karst landscape and towering peaks. The area is also known for its subtropical rainforest, which covers the slopes of the mountains and creates a beautiful backdrop to the sparkling rivers and waterfalls. There are numerous attractions in the Walingyuan Scenic Area, including the Zhangjiajie National Park, Tianmen Mountain, and Yellow Dragon Cave. The Zhangjiajie National Park is famous for its thousands of limestone pillars and peaks, which rise up out of the forested landscape like a fairyland. 
Many of these formations are over 200 meters high and are an impressive sight to behold. Another popular attraction in the area is Tianmen Mountain. This mountain is home to Tianmen Cave, one of the largest and most spectacular caves in China. The cave stretches nearly a kilometer long and features stunning rock formations and crystal clear pools of water. Finally, no visit to Walingyuan would be complete without exploring the Yellow Dragon Cave. This cave is one of the longest in China, with over 30 kilometers of passages to explore. It is also home to some amazing stalagmites and stalactites, as well as a few underground rivers and lakes. Number 10. Dali. Dali is one of the most popular tourist destinations in China, and for good reason. Located in the southwestern province of Yunnan, Dali is a small city that is surrounded by some of the most beautiful mountains in the country. The shimmering Arai Lake lies at its feet, and its old town is full of charming buildings that date back to the Ming Dynasty. There are plenty of interesting historical and cultural landmarks to see in Dali. The ancient city walls, three pagodas, and Chongqing Temple are all must-sees, but there are also plenty of other interesting spots to explore. The lovely old town is a great place to wander around, and there are also some great hikes to be had in the surrounding mountains. Dali is a great place to visit if you want to experience some of China's rich history and culture. Its stunning scenery and charming old town make it a wonderful place to explore, and its proximity to some of Yunnan's most beautiful mountains makes it the perfect destination for hikers and nature lovers. Number 9. Jus Hegu. Sichuan province is well known for its many scenic spots and Jus Hegu Valley is one of the most popular. The valley is a national park that is home to several Tibetan villages. Visitors can see another lifestyle without having to brave the high altitudes of the Himalayan region. The region's name means nine Tibetan villages. The national park has been described as a fairyland because of its many waterfalls, snow-covered karst mountains, and its 108 blue, turquoise and green-colored lakes that are so crystal clear one can see the bottoms. It is also the habitat of giant pandas, though the chances of seeing them are slim due to the park size and the number of tourists. The scenery in Jus Hegu Valley is pristine and uncluttered which makes it a favorite among travelers who enjoy the great outdoors. Number 8. Hangzhou. Hangzhou, the capital of Zhejiang province, is located in southeastern China and is famed for its natural scenery. The city was first built in 589 AD and has been an important cultural center for over 1,000 years. The West Lake, which is located in the heart of the city, has been immortalized by countless poets and artists and is considered to be one of the most beautiful places in all of China. There are a number of things to see and do in Hangzhou. Some of the most popular attractions include the West Lake, Lingying Temple, Leifeng Pagoda, and Six Harmonies Pagoda. The West Lake is especially beautiful and well worth a visit. It is surrounded by mountains on three sides and features a number of temples, pagodas, and gardens. There are also a number of boat tours available on the lake which offer great views of the surrounding scenery. Linging Temple is one of the oldest and most famous Buddhist temples in China. It features a large number of statues and carvings of Buddha and is well worth a visit for those interested in Buddhism or Chinese history. Leifeng Pagoda is another popular attraction located on the West Lake. It was originally built in 975 AD but was destroyed by a fire in 1924. The pagoda was rebuilt in 2002 and is now one of the most popular tourist destinations in Hangzhou. Six Harmonies Pagoda is located on Phoenix Hill near the East Lake. It was originally built in 619 AD during the Tang Dynasty and is renowned for its unique architecture. The pagoda has been damaged by fire on several occasions but has been rebuilt each time. It is now a popular tourist destination and offers great views over both the East and West Lakes. Hangzhou is also home to a large number of shopping malls, restaurants, and bars. The New Century Avenue Mall is one of the largest shopping malls in China and features a large number of international brands. 
There are also a number of traditional Chinese restaurants serving up local delicacies such as dim sum, dumplings, and stir-fry dishes. And for those looking to party into the night, there are plenty of bars and clubs to choose from in downtown Hangzhou. Number 7. Yangshua. Yangshua is a small town in the Guanxi Zhuang Autonomous Region of South Central China. It's located on the Li River, about 60 miles northwest of Gilan. The town has been a magnet for backpackers for many years because of its cheap prices and laid-back atmosphere, but today it draws all sorts of travelers to enjoy its scenic beauty. Yangshua makes a good base to take day trips throughout the area. A favorite activity is to take a boat between Yangshua and Gilan for a leisurely trip on the Li River, known for its beautiful scenery and karst mountains that have been made famous by photographers and painters all over the world. Many travelers choose to rent bicycles for the trip back, since the route is relatively flat and gives them the opportunity to view farmers toiling in their fields. The restaurants in Yangshua are excellent, and there are plenty of them to choose from. You can find everything from street food vendors to high-end western restaurants. There's also no shortage of nightlife, with bars and nightclubs dotting the main street. If you're looking for an interesting and scenic place to visit in China, Yangshua is definitely worth checking out. Number 6. Le Sa. Le Sa, the capital of Tibet, is one of the most important cities in the world and one of the highest elevated. At 3,500 meters, 11,500 feet, it is a fascinating and beautiful city that has retained much of its culture even after it was absorbed into Greater China. Lhasa has a long and interesting history, having gone in and out of being the capital of Tibet over time. However, it has always remained an important spiritual center. The Palace of Sonsen Gampo, built on Mount Mapori in the 7th century, is an impressive site and is still used as a monastery today. There are many other monasteries in Lhasa as well as temples and other places of religious significance. The Padala Palace, once the home of the Dalai Lama, is now a museum that is open to tourists. Lhasa is also a great place to buy Tibetan handicrafts. The people of Lhasa are warm and welcoming and will go out of their way to help you. The city is a great place to spend some time if you want to learn more about Tibetan culture and spirituality. Number 5. Xi'an. Xi'an is one of the most visited cities in China and for good reason. It has a history that spans over 3,100 years and is one of the four great ancient capitals of China. There are plenty of things to see and do in Xi'an, from visiting the city's many historical sites to checking out its vibrant modern culture. The best way to experience Xi'an is to walk through the old city walls. These medieval walls were erected in the 14th century and are now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Walking on top of them offers great views of the cityscape below. Once you're done exploring the walls, make your way to the Bell Tower and Drum Tower. These two towers were once used to announce curfew and now house a number of historical artifacts. If you're interested in learning about Xi'an's history, be sure to visit the Terracotta Warriors Museum. This museum is home to over 7,000 terracotta warriors that were discovered near Emperor Qin Shi Huang's mausoleum in 1974. The warriors date back to 210 BC and offer a fascinating glimpse into ancient Chinese history. Xi'an is also home to some excellent cuisine. Be sure to try some of the city's famous steamed dumplings, called jiaozi in Chinese. These dumplings can be found at restaurants all over Xi'an and are a must-try for any visitor. Number 4. Shanghai. No other city in China quite compares to Shanghai. The country's most developed and populous city, Shanghai is a fascinating mix of old and new. While there are plenty of towering skyscrapers and glitzy shopping malls, there are also centuries-old temples and bustling traditional markets. A visit to Shanghai is an assault on the senses. The city is always alive with energy, from the clanging of street vendors' carts to the never-ending flow of traffic. Neon signs light up the night sky, and the roar of construction is constant. 
Whether you're exploring the narrow alleyways of the old city or taking in the views from the top of a skyscraper, there's always something new to see in Shanghai. Of course, no visit to Shanghai would be complete without sampling some of the city's renowned cuisine. From succulent dumplings to fragrant stir-fries, there's something to please everyone's palate. And don't forget to wash it all down with a cold glass of beer or baijiu, China's famous liquor. Shanghai is an endlessly fascinating city that never fails to impress visitors. Whether you're a first-time traveler or a seasoned pro, you won't want to miss out on all that Shanghai has to offer. Number 3. Great Wall of China the Great Wall of China is one of the world's most famous landmarks and an architectural and engineering masterpiece. It spans over 6,000 kilometers, stretching from the desert in the west to the Bohai Sea in the east, and passes through 15 Chinese provinces. Built over centuries by various Chinese kingdoms, states, and empires, it's a meandering wall that winds through treacherous terrain and past some spellbinding scenery. While its earliest segments were built back in the 7th century BC to protect people from raiders, many of its most famous parts date to the Ming Dynasty. Today, it's a popular tourist destination and a must-see for anyone visiting China. The best way to experience it is by hiking along its length, taking in the amazing views as you go. There are also plenty of watchtowers, gates, and fortifications to explore. Number 2. Hong Kong Hong Kong is a fascinating city to visit in China. It is a glittering, world-class commercial center where Chinese culture, British colonial influences and modern-day high technology blend together. While it contains the world's highest concentration of skyscrapers and one of the highest population densities, Hong Kong also offers plenty of green spaces, mountain views, and beaches. Some of the must-see attractions include the famous Victoria Harbor, which is a spectacular sight at night with all the dazzling skyscrapers and the peak, Hong Kong Island's highest hill which offers awe-inspiring views of the harbor. From amusement parks like Ocean Park and Disneyland Hong Kong to prestigious museums, fabulous shopping malls, bustling night markets, horse racing, beautiful beaches, there is something for everyone in Hong Kong. The locals are extremely friendly and welcoming and always willing to help out visitors. The food is also excellent, with a mix of both Chinese and Western cuisine on offer. Hong Kong is an amazing city that definitely should be on every traveler's list. Number 1. Beijing. If you're looking for an amazing travel destination that offers a little bit of everything, Beijing is the place for you. From ancient historical sites to modern marvels, Beijing has something for everyone. Start your exploration at the Forbidden City, the former home of China's imperial rulers. Today, it's one of the most popular tourist destinations in the city, with beautiful temples and gardens to explore. Next, head to Tiananmen Square, one of the largest public squares in the world. Here you can see iconic attractions like the Mao Zedong Memorial Hall and the National Museum of China. After soaking up some history, it's time to indulge in Beijing's vibrant nightlife. The Sanlitan District is a great place to start, with plenty of bars and restaurants to choose from. If you're looking for something a little more traditional, explore the Hutongs, narrow alleyways that are home to some of Beijing's oldest architecture. Whatever your interests, Beijing is sure to captivate you. With so much to see and do, it's a city you can easily spend a week or more exploring. So what are you waiting for? Book your trip to Beijing today. So, there you have it, our top 14 places to visit in China. Let's hope this list helps you decide where to go in the world for your next vacation. If you think of other city to add into our list, please share them in the comments. As always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on all of our latest content. See you soon!